Conversation styles are sometimes defined superficially by strategies. I mean, in this module, you will know that we follow certain strategies when we take part in conversation. And these strategies are called conversational styles. And usually it is thought, that's why I have used the term superficially. It may or may not be something real. Later we'll see that what happens. Women's style, it is believed that what kind of strategy they use in their conversation, they are cooperative, cooperative with the speaker, with the communicant. They are supportive and they back channel, they give feedback to the speaker. They are involved. They spread talk. And if they are speakers themselves, they spread eye contact to other speakers. They try to engage or maximum people in their talk. And they talk about very familiar topics, very general topics about relations, about cooking, about grooming, etc. Men's style. Now, what are their strategies? They are competitive because they, as we said in the previous module, they compete for, for example, floor. It shows that they desire power. They are hegemonic and uh, hierarchical. They want to show that I am more powerful than others because I hold, I dominate the talk. Others must listen to me. Nobody would interrupt me. So this is what we mean by this. And their themes and their topics of talk, they also show their status and their distance from their audience. Why this difference in strategies? Apparently, we may think that this is because one is a man, the other is a woman. That's why they use different strategies. Okay, let's see its validity. How far is it valid? It is rooted in social domains and responsibilities. And these domains and social responsibilities, you are very well familiar with this. From the start, we have been calling it gender order. The assignment, the allocation of roles and responsibilities in society as men and as women, this is assigned by gender order, gender convention. Men's domain is public. They remain outside home. In this domain, they have to show their competitiveness, their competence. They have to accomplish things successfully because they are responsible for running home. Uh, they uh, work in marketplace. They want to become successful in business. Women's domain is home. And their focus is on personhood. And for personhood, they need to be morally good. They need to be attractive. And for these things, they don't need to be competitive. Because these things are either socially acquired or they are present naturally in a woman. Men's responsibilities, if we look upon the domains and responsibilities of both sexes, now it is clear that men's responsibilities make them competitive. Why they choose these strategies? Because of their responsibilities and roles. And women lack competition. Why? Because their domain is home and their focus is personhood. And for these things, they don't need any kind of competition. Rather, they need cooperation of other women, of other people around them. This difference in roles is clearly marked 
in topics and time of topic uh, given to uh, topics by these people. We can uh, note this difference between domains and responsibilities. For example, men talk more on politics, business. Talk more means they give more time to these serious issues and their topics are very serious. Women, on the other hand, they give more time to topics like relations, grooming, schooling, cooking, moral character, beauty tips, etc. So we conclude that social roles and responsibilities, actually they are determinants of conversation style. And these conversation styles are determined by gender order, gender conventions.